Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Vlogmas Day 12. I cannot believe that it's already Vlogmas Day 12. This Vlogmas is going by so fast and I cannot believe that Christmas is already around the corner. So for today's Vlogmas Day 12, I'm going to be doing a tag video. I was actually tagged in this video about like a week and a half ago. I'm so sorry I'm getting this video up so late, but I just haven't had time to do a sit down video. So I finally have some time today. Now I'm going to be doing the homemaker tag. Now I was tagged by two of my friends here on YouTube, the lovely Carrie Murphy and also Jade from Life of Jade. So if you guys have not checked out their video, then I will link it down below for you guys to go check them out. All right guys, so for this homemaking tag, there are going to be 20 questions I have on this piece of paper. So let's just get started. Question number one is, have you ever had anyone say anything negative to you about staying at home or working from home? I haven't gotten anything necessarily negative, but I do get a lot of the, oh, you're so lucky you get to stay at home with your kids. You get to relax and pretty much just hang out. A lot of people think that just because you're a stay at home mom that you're pretty much sitting on the sofa watching TV and being a couch potato and not doing anything. And it's not like that at all. I am pretty much busy all day being a stay at home mom between bringing in my son to school, bringing my daughter to therapy, doctor's appointments, keeping the house together everything so that is the only thing i do get a lot is people thinking that i don't do anything all day for being a stay-at-home mom but things are super negative not really question number two is what is your favorite slash least favorite part of staying at home or working from home um, my favorite part would definitely be being able to see all of my kids milestones and being able to be with them 24 seven. I love my kids and I love being with them. And I really do love being able to stay at home with them and being a stay at home mom. Cause I know there's so many people out there that would love to be a stay at home mom or even a stay at home dad, but they're not able to. So I'm definitely extremely grateful and thankful that I can stay at home with them. And I would say my least favorite thing about being a stay at home mom is that I pretty much don't get a break. I'm with them 24 seven from morning to night. So I don't really get a break other than when they take naps or when they go to bed at night. And also, honestly, I kind of miss going to work. I've always worked ever since I was younger. So I honestly do miss going to work. So I would say that would be my least favorite. Question number three is what is your favorite slash least favorite chore? I would say definitely my favorite chore is vacuuming. I don't know why, but I love to vacuum. I love seeing like those fresh vacuum lines. Anytime I vacuum a room or anything, I'm like, don't walk into the room. Do not mess up my vacuum lines. I don't know why I can vacuum every single day. I love vacuuming. And my least favorite chore is probably everyone's least favorite chore, which would be cleaning bathrooms. I do not like cleaning the bathroom. And I have three bathrooms in my house, two full and one half. So I just don't like cleaning the bathrooms. Next question is what time do you wake up slash go to bed? Every day I wake up between 6.40, the latest seven o'clock. My son does go to school Monday through Thursday. So I have to be up early, making him breakfast, getting him ready for school. My daughter also has therapy twice a week and her appointments are in the morning. So I have to be up early in the morning. And then as far as going to bed, I say I go to bed between 11 and midnight. I should probably go to bed a little bit earlier because I'm so tired in the morning, but that's just the time I usually go to bed is between 11 and midnight. Next question is, do you put anything on in the background while you clean slash cook? While I clean, I do put on music. I think it gets me motivated and it gets me really pumped. So I do listen to music when I clean. As far as cooking, I usually don't listen to music while I'm cooking, but I do watch my fellow YouTube friends here. That's when I catch up on other people's videos. So a lot of times when I'm cooking or baking, I will be watching my fellow YouTube friends here on YouTube. Next question is, do you get dressed most days or stay in PJs? I don't stay in my PJs all day because every day I have to go out and do something. I have to take my son to school, take my daughter to therapy, run errands. So I'm always getting dressed. And if it's a day that I am staying home, I still will take off my pajamas and put on either leggings or workout pants and a shirt. I live in leggings. I love leggings. So that is what I'm probably wearing most of the time. Next question is how often do you do your hair and makeup? I don't do my hair and makeup every single day. Um, but most days I do just because I usually have errands to do, taking my son to school and my daughter to therapy and just other random errands that I have to do throughout the week. And also I feel like doing my hair and makeup makes me feel so much better. So I usually do at least put on like a BB cream and concealer and touch up my hair a little bit. 
Next question is, what is your trouble zone or area in your home that needs most help? I would definitely say my kids' room, mainly my son's room. My son's room, I swear, is always a mess. My daughter's room isn't really much of a mess because she barely plays in there. They play a lot in my son's room, and my son, I'm telling you, he can make his room a disaster within like five seconds. So his room is probably the room that I'm always having to clean up. Next question is, how often do you find yourself getting distracted? I find myself getting distracted very easily. I could be in the middle of a conversation with you and if I see a beautiful bird fly by, I would literally stop talking and just start talking about the bird that just flew by. So I say I get distracted really easily. Next question is, do you enjoy staying at home or do you miss going to a job every day? I do enjoy staying at home. Like I said, I'm extremely grateful that I have the opportunity to be able to stay with my kids at home and they don't have to be in an after school program or in daycare. I love being home with my kids. Okay, third try, I'm gonna try to film this video. My husband keeps on calling me and interrupting. So let me try to get through this before he calls me again. Next question is, what is your never ending chore? I have two never ending chores and they would be dishes and also my son's room. I feel like I'm always having to do dishes. My kids always want snacks and they're always hungry. And then my husband's like having another kid and I swear I will finish doing all the dishes. Five minutes later, there will be a ton more dishes in the sink. So definitely dishes. And then also my son's room. Like I told you guys before, it is always a disaster. He can make that room look like a hurricane hit it within seconds. So I'm always having to clean up his room as well. Next question is, what is your favorite way to relax or have me time? I think my favorite thing to do for my me time is face mask. I love doing face mask. I also really love painting my nails. So just like girly stuff like that, doing a face mask, painting my nails. I also love my wine. So having a glass of wine while I do that. I also really love catching up on shows. I have so much stuff in my DVR that I need to catch up on. Sometimes I will catch up on a show. I also love to watch my YouTube friends, so catching up on their videos as well is my me time, just being able to relax and watch their videos. Next question is how often does your husband slash significant other chip in? So my husband doesn't really do anything inside of the house. I'm the one who does all the cleaning and everything inside of the house. Obviously if something breaks in the house, he will fix it. He's responsible for everything outdoor. So anything that has to do with outdoor, the garden, the grass, stuff like that, he's responsible for, and then I'm responsible for everything inside. So I would say I do everything inside and he does everything outside. Next question is, if you have kids, when do you find time to do chores? I do my chores when my son is at school. He's at school from nine to one o'clock. So I will do my chores while he's at school or I will do my chores when they are taking their naps. Next question is how do you balance being a homemaker and creating YouTube content? I pretty much do all of my videos when my kids are either napping or my son's at school or if my daughter's in a really, really good mood and I can just put her in my son's room to play for a little bit and watch TV, then I'll be able to do like a sit down video like I'm doing right now. Also, if my husband is home, then I can obviously hand off the kids to him while I do my videos. And if it's a vlog video, then I just usually have them running around in the background acting crazy. Next question is, what is your favorite room in your home and why? I would definitely say my favorite room in the home is my living room. We spend most of our time in our living room. It's a pretty big living room, so we have a lot of family time there. I know the back patio isn't technically a room inside of the house, but it's definitely still a favorite part of the house for me. It's all wooden and it's a beautiful deck and we spend a lot of time out there. Over the summer, we do barbecues and now that it's colder out, we do bonfires. So I love my deck. Next question is what is your least favorite room in your home and why? That would definitely be my guest bedroom. My guest bedroom is so tiny and small. All we have is a bed in there. And with just that one bed, there's like no room in that room to walk around. It's so crammed. So I would definitely say my guest room because it's so tiny. Next question is, do you feel your home reflects your personal style? Why or why not? I would say kind of because when we moved into this house, we try to put my style and my husband's style together. Um, but we are moving in about three months when we do move. That house is going to be more my style. We've been shopping for home decor. And honestly, I've just been picking out stuff that I like my style. So in our current home that we are renting, I would say and not really. In our new house that we're going to be moving in in three months that we haven't even found yet. We're still on that house hunt. I will say yes when we do move 
that house will definitely be more my style. Next question is, what does your home smell like? I would definitely say candles. I love my candles. If any of you guys know me well enough, you know I'm obsessed with my candles. I always have one lit. Depending on the time of the year, obviously depends on what kind of candle I am burning. Right now, I'm currently burning marshmallow fireside, so that is definitely what my house is smelling like now. And the final question is, what is your strong point and weak spot when it comes to homemaking? I would say my strong point is keeping up with the cleaning. I hate clutter. I hate a mess. I hate a dirty house. So I would definitely say staying on top of cleaning up my house. I would say my weak spot when it comes to homemaking, technically, I don't know if it has to do with homemaking, but I would say not being able to work and bring in income. I've always worked since I was really young, so not being able to work now and not being able to bring in an extra income to help my husband with bills, it's really hard for me personally because I like going to work, I like earning money. So that is definitely one thing that I struggle with. Also another thing is I really want to go back to school and right now it's just not in the cards between my daughter and her autism and my son being in pre-K right now. It's just really, really hard. So that's another thing that I want to go back to school. It's definitely a goal of mine. So those two things are the things that I struggle with the most. Yeah, that is going to be the last question of the homemaking tag. I hope you guys enjoyed my questions. Now, this was the longest video for me to record from my phone being blown up with everyone calling me, interrupting my recording. And also, I filmed half of this video and didn't hit record, so I had to re-record half of this video. So, it's been a long one. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And also, if any of you guys would like to do this homemaking tag, consider yourself tag and comment down below if you do decide to do this video so I can head over to your channel and watch it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.